the exhibition Fabricated Fractures, which is a group exhibition with 15 artists who challenge ideas of nation, state, and territory. Well, in this show, you'll see it's connected through a lot of tapestry, weaving, so these dialogues are happening around the world. So we've partnered with a lot of incredible institutions. But Dubai, we feel that since it's our first time, we feel that this is actually a hub, a hub for South Asians. 70% of the local community are South Asians, and it's a great collaboration, and it's so well connected to Bangladesh. The title of the show, Fabricated Fractures, as you see, fabric actually plays a big role in that, and why would that be? Languages change, religions change, politics change, but weaving patterns change far more slowly. It's a way to also look at shared histories. So the Chakma community, with which Pablo Bartholomew is related to by marriage, their weaving traditions speak to the shared history, but their woven DNA would as well. This is something that I've been working on for a year and a half. It's a cross-border project between India and Bangladesh through photos, but also scientifically, you know, DNA. I wanted to use weavers, have their DNA analyzed, and then give their map DNA back to them so that they could weave it. The work behind me is a work that's called Haven is Elsewhere by a Bangladeshi artist and activist named Kamruzaman Shadin. And so what you're seeing here is a monumental quilt made of clothes left behind by Bangladeshi people who were human trafficked into Southeast Asia and Rohingyas who left their homes and life uh, in Myanmar to come into refugee camps in Bangladesh. When they enter the country, their clothes are wet and tattered. They shed them and trade them for new clothes from NGOs. So this is an artwork on a monumental scale that talks to the fabric of society how do we stitch together these stories of pain and come together to build new futures? There is a work in this show by a young Bangladeshi photographer named Ashfika Rahman. The work is called Rape is Political. And it's portraits of girls in the Chittagong Hill tracks who are rape victims, but doctors won't chronicle or report the rapes. But they tell their stories on these portraits and we're looking at them here. Art can give people a voice. So to me, the art world, the stakes aren't deep enough, right? They're very deep. We're in a humanitarian crisis, not just in South Asia, but all over the world. And art can be a tool to address that and remind us of our shared humanity. Like I said, countries are manufactured. We're born human. Mm -hmm.